area as it relates to that, as you get away from that and you move to food is medicine, this whole concept. And I think there are some interesting companies out there that are, are creating solutions where they're creating meals and platforms that uh, will ultimately become medically reimbursed by health insurers. I think that's a great start. And I think that's a huge area of development in an area we're spending a lot of time on. It's still early and nascent, but there are companies that are emerging and drug companies are beginning to wake up to understand that this is a solution and probably is even a more cost-effective solution than a lot of the other treatments that they have vis-a-vis -vis drugs, uh, particularly GLP-1s, uh, mm -hmm. which, you know, obviously on Zempic, you know, we've seen sort of a lot of talk in the marketplace. I think GLPs are being abused and they're not the solution for diabetes or weight loss. I, you know, as I said, I strongly believe that most chronic diseases can be prevented and or reversed with proper nutrition and exercise. Taking a pill is not the long-term solution. In fact, I've seen some studies even that have proven that uh, that if you lose up to 60% of your, your lean body mass on GLPs and 90% um, of those patients actually end up just regaining the weight back. And so I, I think that isn't the solution in, in my mind. And as I said, I think with the right nutrition, people can solve a lot of these problems.